11 Sports, and for the fans, welcomes you to the following presentation of the Simulation Football League. Live from across the pond in the United Kingdom, home to British Parliament, Big Ben, and, and River Thames, and the Tower Bridge. Welcome. Good afternoon. I'm Rick Northrup. Your play-by-play man is Colin uh, Northrup. Yep. And we'll take you inside Queensway as the London Knights play host to the Arizona Scorpions as it's blackout day here in London as the Knights looking to get off the stride for their first win of season 15. Arizona led by the Hands Brothers, Donnie and James, former Knights themselves, looking to get a little revenge on their old team. Borangus McLean and Ben Kalia. Can they consistently keep up with an Arizona attack that's been surprisingly good? Changing some pleasantries there, Colin. Old friends. And here's the coin toss. The Scorpions will call heads as the visiting team. And it is heads. And they will put their top-ranked defense on the field first. You're watching the Simulation Football League on 11 Sports. And for the fans, don't go anywhere. Kickoff is just around the corner. No problem. Dustin Zeck waiting back deep on for London on the return. And we're underway. Zeck fields this from his three yard line, cutting across the 20 spins, has a bit of a lane and gets knocked down at his own 30. Not a bad return to get things started. Colin, why don't you set us up? Angus McLean is the quarterback. Robert Merrill is the tailback. Iggy Swift is the fullback. Wide receivers are Fox Highway, Vin Kalia, and Dustin Zeck. And the tight ends are Benji Madsen and Dayton Rhodes. McLean under center in the offset eye formation. Two men in the backfield. Turns, gives to Robin Merrill first play of the game. And Merrill will pick up five yards. Tackle made by Wyo and B.J. Loveless for Arizona. Let's talk a little bit about... Um the team that is the London Knights, Colin, and uh, they've got a good passing attack, but if they can add the running attack, become a little more multidimensional, I think they'll have more success than they've been experiencing so far this season. London operating from the shotgun play action, and down goes Angus McLean. Well, Sack made by Mark Mello at defensive end. And then there's the line blocking, which we hadn't started talking. For Arizona up front, they have D.D. Sachs and Mark Miller at the defensive ends. Alex Constantini and A.J. DeCure at the tackles. B.J. Loveless, Joey Tropicana are the linebackers. Manikanaka, Iverson Gamer, and Parker Thomas are the corners. And Anthony Weil and Eddie Gage are the safeties as Angus McLean goes down again. 
Back at his own 18-yard line this time, it's Constantine. I think they got their blocking scheme on the O-line crossed up two plays in a row, and it's costly as back-to-back -back sacks back them up. Colin, they're going to have to clean that up in their next possession as now they're punting from inside their own five. Phil Hunter standing at his own three. Jacob McCall waiting back deep on the return. McCall will call a fair catch at his own 47, and we'll get our first look at Miss Ashley Jackson and the rest of the Arizona attack. As they start with 9.21 left in the first quarter for their first position in the game, wearing orange pants, white jerseys with orange helmets, and black face masks. Empty shotgun look for Jax. First and 10. She's back to throw. Fire slant over the middle. Locked away. That is Bodacious Martin. Sharp. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. Junior on the deflection for London. Sharp play by Martin Jr. Uh, she's got a good read on that. He's able to get his mitt out there and knock it away. For Arizona, they have DJ Moses and Nick Lasala with Jackson in the backfield. Wide receivers, Donnie Hands, James Hands, and Jacob McCall. Tight end, Tiberius. Well, by in center is Sean Crooked. Three men in the backfield for Arizona, and they will swing this out to Moses for his first catch of the day. Makes a nice spin move, picks up the first down, and a whole lot more to the 36 of London. Good deception there by your Arizona Scorpions as they get him out in the flat. Uh, with no blockers, but there's no defenders either. And he makes one man miss to pick up the first down. Dean, Dean Same and Joe Duncan are the defensive ends. William Davidson and Zach Turner are the defensive tackles for London. Jeff Gage and Telemach Scarborough are the linebackers. As DJ Moses the second has to put in a lot of effort not to lose yards, but Zach Turner will stop him for no gain second and ten. Well defended by the Knights as a little, almost a heavier a goal line package shown there by Eddie Gage and the Arizona Scorpions. And uh, London's up to the task. Tanner Hendricks, Brandon Ewing, Marquise Reed, Bo Martin Jr. and Jack Russell are the defensive backs. This Jackson will go down in a heap back at the 38. Sack made by Zach Turner. Jackson's got to eat that one, and uh, that may have been uh, the better play with uh, versus throwing it away or getting yourselves in a bad position here. Jackson on third and 11, completes it for the first down up to the 24-yard line. First and 10 from the 24 for Arizona. <laughs> DJ Moses picks up seven yards up the middle to the 17. Set up a second and three. Jackson. Oh, go down. She goes back at the 24. This time it's Joe Duncan on the sack. As he blows right by the tackle and brings Jackson down hard to the ground. Well, a couple of good looking sacks here early in the game uh, from both defenses. If you're one of those angry defensive types, you're going to love those plays. Uh, so Jackson under center in an empty backfield. Third and 10. They have to get to the 14 for a first down. Jackson. 
Down the middle. Oh, oh. knocked away. Marquise oh. Reed. It, it was looking good, and then it was looking bad, and it falls harmlessly to the turf, bringing up fourth down, Colin. Cliff Allen is the kicker for Arizona, picked in the sixth round, 12th overall. They'll spot this one at the 31, making a 41-yard attempt. This is from the left hash mark. Snap spot kick is on the way, and it is right down the middle. So it's 6.29 to go in the first quarter. Arizona leads London by the score of three to nothing. You're watching the Simulation Football League on 11 Sports and for the fans. Cliff Allen set to kick things off for the Arizona Scorpions following a drive in which he netted the three points to give him the early lead three to nothing. Justin Zeck back to return and Allen's kick is away. Fielded from the five is Zeck. Cuts to his right and gets knocked down at the 26. For Arizona, well, if you look at the defensive numbers, they're all good. Top 10 in pretty much every category except total yards allowed. But even then, they're still within the top 15 defensively. Indeed, you're getting a picture of a strong defense right there across the board. His defense sacked Angus McLean three times to force a punt on the very first London drive. He's from the empty gun. He will quickly fire downfield, and it's incomplete. Looking for Fox Highwind. But he pulled the string a little too much. Yeah, and that may have been on purpose. Uh, you know, you can be sort of mid-wind up or getting ready to release that and then see that it's well covered, and he just puts a little extra mustard on that thing so it can't be um, intercepted. That was a nine-play, 29-yard scoring drive for Arizona for the 41-yard field goal by Allen. Thanks to our statisticians, Ben Warner and Mark Chis. Fullback dive up the middle. And the Knights get two yards to set up a third and eight. Tackle made by Joey Tropicana. And the Knights seem to be in favorable position as again they go empty shotgun. Arizona counters with a dime defense, four down defensive lineman. Angus fires over the middle, spinning, oh, they do not give him the first down. Ben Kalia, I thought he had it for a moment, but B.J. Loveless, by the hair on his oh. chin, saves it. Fourth and inches, and uh, while they're uh, trying to decide what they're going to do, I'll remind everybody that uh, the Rick meter is in operation for this game. It survived its uh, transocean journey in its shipping container. Got unloaded. We've got the inverters for the conversion on the uh, power, especially for the neon. And here's the punt. Phil Hunter gets that away. And Jacob McCall spins up the middle and gets tackled at his own 33. The staff of the Rick meter likes to see at least a couple of possessions uh, and run that through its algorithms before uh, it makes a determination. So uh, we'll we'll be on standby for a Rick Meter update after probably this possession from the Scorpions. They start on their own 33, 5, 15 to go in the first quarter. Ashley Jackson under center, twins receivers to the top, and they're offset off. 
She's back to throw. Fires. Donnie ends with a catch. He picked up nine yards. That's his second. He now has 22. Two questions. How was that not intercepted? And then how was that a catch? That was unbelievable. Get a better look at it. Oh, reaches behind himself a little bit, gathers it in, and gains possession in bounds. Looks like Ewing, the young man in his second season with this team, second year in the league. Trying to go for the slot, but ultimately didn't get it. Second down and one, two tight ends, split backs for Arizona. Here's the go to the middle to DJ Moses. And he's hung up at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Tackle made in there by a couple of players, including Same, the defensive end, and Samuel Cassidy, the outside linebacker. Now they flip the single receiver to the top. Here again, they get to Moses. Jackson has to keep it to herself, and she runs up the middle for her first down to the London 43. That was blown up in the middle as they tried to give it to Moses, but Jackson able to duck a sack right there <laughs> from William Davidson and runs up the middle for a first down. For those of you that may have been listening to our broadcast uh, of the Scorpions last week, we had talked about how Ashley Jackson has these sort of aspects, tricks in her bag, or just this ability to do things that you've never seen before or make the uh, the great play. And there, there it is. It's a prime example, right, Colin? Right there indeed is Jackson. Fires this one caught by James Hands, and he gets knocked out of bounds at the London 24. Wow. The Hens brothers just showing off now. What a catch by James. That was a thing of beauty. Two great plays by Ashley Jackson. Calm in the pocket. Just let it go on the corner around against Tanner Hendricks, a former Scorpion. For those uh, aware of the details, you know, Ashley Jackson took the short drop and looked to her right the whole time and didn't look left until she was firing to the left and just trying to spot the receiver. Well, they get offside free play. Here's the dump off to DJ Moses, and he plows ahead for a pick of a three close to four yards, so he'll most likely take the penalty. Neutral zone infraction, number 97, defense, yard penalty, repeat, first down. And same, the defensive end. Trying to get ahead of the snap count, but it was just a beat too quick. And for Ashley Jackson, she'll, she just shrugged that off and said, well, it's, it's a flesh wound. <laughs> just a flesh wound. Three tight ends offset eye to the strong side. Here's the give to Moses. He's wrapped up in the backfield back in the 23. Another TFL for this London defense. Same knocked it down. You know, John Cleese had mentioned recently that um, Monty Python probably couldn't be a comedy troupe in today's day and age because people weren't smart enough. <laughs> so we'll see if they can get our references. Jackson oh! down the middle. She's picked off. That's Jack Russell who returns it to the 17 yard line. And for that young kid, that's an interception number seven. Pass intended for Donnie Hands, but ultimately found a black shirt instead of a white shirt. There you see the interception boards. Russell has had two interceptions in two games this season. A 93-yard pick six last week. And let's see if the Knights can take advantage of it as they start from their own 17, first and 10. And gets McLean under center with three wide tight end flexed out. Angus fires it up to Fox Highland who picks up a first down and plenty more than a 32. Well, that's a nice play and a good turn of events for the London Knights. And uh, just like the Spanish Inquisition, nobody expected Ashley Jackson to throw a pick uh, getting down close into the red zone. And here come the Knights. Broke the tackle to Manikanaka, one of the better corners in this league, but the Hall of Famer Eddie Gage able to clean it up before any more damage was done. A 
Robert Merrill has had one carry so far, as has Iggy Swift. He's in the backfield, but Angus back for another pass, and down he goes. Third time he's been sacked. This time it's Dee Dee Sacks. That was a mouthful. Well, inopportune time for a sack. Uh, Any time, no time is a good time for a sack, but a first down. Not too bad that you can recover. You still have a few plays. Second and 17, Angus steps up in the pocket and down he goes again. This time it's Mark Mello, and it's turned into a sack party for Arizona here in the early going. Get out your sleeping bag, I guess. Hey, um, the uh, the London Brain Trust is going to have to think about rolling him out or giving him some extra protection packages if they're going to be uh, uh, putting the ball down the field in a forward pass. Here they go, forward pass again. That's a sack for a third time in a row, and this time it's Alex Constantine. So the Arizona defense showing a little stiff upper lip as they're able to limit the damage of the turnover, and their offense will get great field position. We'll have to check in with uh, Ben and Mark on stats to uh, keep track of these sacks. I'm already losing track. Phil Hunter on to punt. Jacob McCall waiting back deep. For Mello and Constantine, they already have two sacks. For DD sacks, that was his first. Five sacks in one quarter. I don't think I've ever seen that might be some kind of record. Hey, if you're new to the Simulation Football League, you're watching the first controllerless eSport where strategy and AI instead of thumbs determines the outcome. Teams submit game plans prior to the simulation, and the results play out live in real time with hundreds of viewers, turned players, scouts, coaches, and team owners on the field to create an all-new kind of virtual reality. Visit www.simulationfl.net for more information. DJ Moses plows ahead for a pickup of one. I see Benji Metz in London's tight end in the chat says we have a bunch of sacks we can use to carry the fish and chips directly to the fans because <laughs> it was reported to me earlier that they were loading up the t-shirt cannon with fish and chips and, <laughs> and the tartar sauce all ready to go oh that's great that's great again they go heavy jackson out to moses who's wide open has plenty of room down to the london 33 and that'll end the first quarter play london is trailing three to nothing to Arizona. You're watching the Simulation Football League on 11 Sports in for the fans.
for the Arizona Scorpions. They take over. First and 10 to start the second quarter. I'm Colin North and my colleague is Rick Northrup. Our statisticians are Ben Warner and Mark Chisholm. Kevin Irvine, our executive producer. Here's another th- dump off to DJ Moses who runs up field covering the ball with both hands to the 13 yard line. Oh, and here come your Arizona Scorpions. Brilliant play call as the Knights were caught in man coverage and nobody picked up Moses swinging out of the backfield. Arizona, six and a half point favorites. Yeah. With an over under 40 and a half. And knowing Eddie Gage and his defensive prowess, I probably would have taken the under. First and 10 to 13, J.J. Moses, not a carry. This time he picks up three yards. I tell you, Rick, he's had trouble in the running game, but he's made his biggest impact in the passing game. Let's see if it pays off. Exactly. Exactly. And, you know, an obvious comment or comment, if you can get both your running and your passing game going, your chances of success go through the roof. And Moses will get stopped on the line of scrimmage for no gain. Jack Russell on the tackle. And they call him the Terrier for a reason. This guy, he may only be six foot, 215 pounds, but he plays bigger. London leads the series one to nothing over Arizona. This is the first meeting between the two teams since season 12. And you see the last time these teams met, London won big, 34-14 back in February of 2019. Jackson dumps it off to James Hans, picks up a first down at the two. Just a nice little uh, toss over the line. See if he can make something happen uh, to, in a scoring sense. Um, but if he doesn't, it's still a first down, which is where they go. First and goal now on the two. Maybe I should have yelled two. Do they cross him up with a fullback run? No, it's Moses who gets easily in for the touchdown. <laughs> and now Arizona's up nine to nothing. And the crowd is not happy as you can hear in the background between bites of fish and chips, a lustily booing the scorpions. Arizona able to take advantage of yet another good field position set up by their defenses. Consecutive sacks of London on the last drive. And negative six yards of total offense, Rick. But yet, they're only going to be down by 10. By 10. That was nearly blocked, but the extra point is up and good. So with nine minutes to go until halftime, Arizona leads 10 to nothing. Well, and with that score, this just in from the Rick meter. The Rick meter is leaning Arizona early in the second quarter. The Rick meter is coming out, leaning Arizona. There you go, boys and girls. Play your cards right. Uh, You may be able to work on the Rick meter someday. Certainly uh, apply for an internship next summer. Allen's kickoff to Zach. He gets it down to the five. And Zach returns it up to the 25. First time Arizona's had a contract kicker in their history, which includes time when they were the Oklahoma City Renegades. Always up for teams to try new roster permutations. Angus McLean under center. And let's hope for the fact that his line can protect him from this menacing front four. He'll start with a handoff to Iggy Swift. He picks up three yards, then it'll be second and seven. You know, and that's not a bad idea, Colin. Uh, the defense is over pursuing McLean. Catch him on a draw or a quick hitter. Take advantage of that. There should be some holes and some gaps um, once you break through the initial line. Now they go empty. Robert Merrill has only one carry for five yards. And he's with two carries for five yards also. And Angus this time will fire a quick out route to the top of the screen. Fox Highwind makes the catch out of bounds with the London 
32. No, check that. That's Ben Kalia. Set up a third and three. London has yet to convert a third down, but this one's pretty closer than the other ones they've had to face. And, uh, you know, the, a long journey starts with uh, just a few steps, and converting this third down is a good next step for London. Merrill is the tailback in the offset eye. He's a former wide receiver. Well, he'll be in the block. Angus will fire up for the first down. That is going to be caught by Dustin Zeck, who gets it to the London 37. Parker Thomas on the tackle. Bingo, bingo. And uh, don't underestimate, you know, for the team, just that, even though it seems kind of uh, silly or innocuous, picking up that first down gives you a little bit of a lift. Again, they go empty, which is... Kind of a risk here, considering this Arizona team had five sacks in the first quarter. But again, it's a quick double. -off. This time, it's caught again by Zach, who turns up field and picks up the first down to 49. Wow, two things about that, Colin. Much better protection and a really great play design and execution. Two first downs in a row for your London Knights. And they're also getting the ball out quickly and on rhythm. Angus McLean is not having to sit back there and think. He's just able to read the coverage and find his man. He's in the gun. Merrill sidecar to the right. Angus. Out route. Oh, knocked away. Joey Tropicana read that one almost from the jump. Wow, near a near disaster there, but they uh, Captain Smith avoids the iceberg, and they live to fight another down. Second and ten pass intended for Andy Mann out of the slot. There is... Dayton Rhodes, first string tight end. Again, they come out in the same formation. Let's see if they do anything different. Angus, back to throw a deep shot down yeah. the field. Caught! <laughs> Caught down the middle of the field. That is Rhodes to the 19 first down London. Wow, and the crowd nearly ch collectively chokes on their fish and chips as they break out a big play and move themselves smartly down the field. Look at that, Colin. Broke the tackle of Iverson Gamble, but Eddie Gage had to come and clean it up, and thank goodness he did. Otherwise, Mr. Rhodes would have been rumbling all the way down. <laughs> uh, technically in the red zone now. Again, they go trips to the bottom, one to the top, four wide, and tight end. Here's Angus McLean back to throw. Fires to the end yeah. zone, caught for the touchdown! <laughs> Dustin Rhodes! Pulls that one in. Holy smoke. And the throw-in Scotsman finds the end zone for touchdown pass number nine. <laughs> That's right. Well, that'll blow some wind up your kilt right there. As London gets one of the two scores back that they need to uh, stay in this game. JT Dunleavy is the police kicker for the Knights. Six thirty-six to go until halftime, and the London Knights have cut it to a ten to seven game, following a touchdown pass from Angus McLean to Dayton Road. You're watching the Simulation Football League on Eleven Sports in for the fans. Here in Queen's Way in London, the Knights have cut it to a three-point game following a touchdown pass to Dayton Rhodes from Angus McLean. 
Sorry, you may have called him a different name. Is that correct? Am I correct? Uh, I, 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 that may be correct. <laughs> may or may not be correct. As we take a look at the quarterback comparison, you see the throwing Scotsman McLean. He has the edge in passing yards as well as touchdowns, but Jackson has fewer interceptions and a better QBR and completion percentage. That's an interesting, uh, interesting uh, st statistical comparison there. McLean is a good quarterback. They just need to give him some time. Uh -oh. Here's DJ uh -oh. Moses up running. He's got Reed chasing him as well as Gage. But Telly Max Scarborough and Tanner Hendricks finally bring him down to the London 36. A run of some 43 yards as he busts one open here majorly. And that just catches everybody off guard. Uh, and maybe even in Arizona, the, just uh, a simple uh, off tackle. Off tackle power play with the guard pull. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what happens, boys and girls. And here they are way in the plus side of the field. At the 36, Arizona goes tw twins to the bottom out of the gun. One tight end either side. We haven't heard from Tiberius Wellbine yet. Down oh, the oh, middle. Oh, oh almost oh. intercepted. Pass intended for James Hands, but knocked away by the Knights on defense. Well played by the Knights and uh, gave themselves a potentially a chance with that uh, ricochet in the air to uh, stop this drive. But it, either way, it's incomplete. The Knights defense is going to have to uh, stiffen up pretty good here. There's Tyler Max Scarborough. This is a very young team on defense. Uh, a couple of veterans, but most of rookies are in their second year with this team. Second or first year is the throw over the middle complete to Donnie Hands. He makes it a third and two situation. I'll tell you why that Donnie Hands is so dangerous. You know, he catches that ball clearly short of the line again, and and for a moment it looks like he was going to actually fall and and pick up the fall forward and pick up the first down. James Hands to the top as they go two tight ends, a fullback, but Moses in the backfield. That's Nicholas Sala, and Moses Ooh. got the first down. They give him forward progress to the twenty-six. They part the night C for Moses. As he rides through closer to the promised land. First and 10 from the 26. Here's the give again to Moses. He has to fight his way through traffic, but picks up three yards to 22. And unlike Sir Robin, DJ Moses did not run away <laughs> brave sir robin he ran away he did not <laughs> yes you did second and seven from the london 22 they go two tight ends balance line split backs again they give to moses and he plows the head for pick him up three yards to the 19. Tackle made by Jeff Gage. The inside linebacker picked in the first round, 20, 20, first overall, played for Annapolis in the SFL minor league. Moses with another carry on third and four, and he wow. stopped the yard short. Well, the Arizona line ha had the initiative on that surge off the snap, but the Knights recover quickly and hold him short. This will be a shorter field goal for Cliff Allen, but probably not when they wanted. As the offense looks like they're gonna line up to go for it. They got a few extra timeouts in the first quarter, why, in the first half, why not, right? I'm not a fan of this in uh, the second half, especially the third quarter. With the shot here, but Arizona will call a timeout. And we'll see Cliff Allen on for his second field goal attempt. There's Eddie Gage. He's proven to be a defensive mastermind, but also has to manage the offense this season. And so far, Eddie's done a pretty good job. He's got it. He's going to need his full two scoops to keep that brain power fired up. Doing a nice job here with the Scorpions so far this year, Colin. 
This will be from the right hash this time. Ball spotted just ahead of the 25. And this extra, and this field goal is up and good from 33. So with 327 to go in the first half, Arizona takes a 13 to 7 lead. They'll take the three points, Rick, but they were hoping for seven. They were hoping for seven, and the Rick meters disappointed. They had a chance to pull it even to uh, um, uh, full Arizona, but it's still lean Arizona at this point. Three trips down, two field goals, one touchdown. Um, you know, not not the way to extend the lead that the Rick meter likes, and the Rick meter was impressed with London's drive. On their last possession, let's see what they can uncork here. For the Knights, here's the return by Zach, and Zach breaks the tackle and gets knocked down at the 27th. For London, they had a seven play, 75 yard drive. Last time they had the football, and Arizona had an eight play, 62 yard drive with another Cliff Allen field goal. For the fans of Denver, the service dog, we did bring him to uh, with us to the London, uh, to the London. Uh, today, but he got rowdy again, and uh, we've actually had to kick him out of the booth for uh, for a while. As you recall last week, he was tearing the booth apart at one point. I think it's McLean off play action. will pick up seven yards. It's Vin Kalia's third reception. He's up to 20 yards. You see Dayton Rhodes, two catches for 50 yards, and that touchdown. Despite being a highly trained service dog, some days that animal doesn't act like it at all. See Kalia, he's the leading receiver for London. Speaking of animals, he's a beast. Robert Merrill is a single back. He'll get his second carry. He does three spins, oh. fights through traffic, breaks a tackle, breaks the <laughs> second one, and he goes. Who's Robert he Merrill beat? explodes, and he beats <laughs> Anderson Gamble for the touchdown. <laughs> and London is an extra point away from taking the lead. Oh. And I believe we talked about, Colin, how uh, teams, uh, especially the London team, needed to get Robert Merrill going. And I was amazed when you made the call that it was only his second carry. And uh, instantly, London uh, is planning to give him the ball more. He looked like a whirling dervish. He had two spins in the middle, broke a tackle of any gauge. who has over a 1,000 career tackles. And a former Florida Storm wide receiver who converted to tailback. Picks up a long touchdown in JT Dunlaney to try this important extra point attempt. Dulaney. And Dulaney's extra point is up and through. So with 252 to go in the first half, London has a one point lead. <laughs> Well, this just in from Keith Jackson. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> that was a 66-yard rushing touchdown by Robert Merrill on a two-play drive. Hey, can I get a show of hands? Did anybody notice at the end of the, uh, the slow-mo replay from the end zone, it looked like Gamble was uh, maybe limping or favoring uh, one, of, one leg down there. I don't know. I have to keep an eye on that, Colin. That'll be something we can bookmark for later. As Arizona now all of a sudden finds themselves trailing for the first time in the game. Here's Moses up the middle. He picks up two. <laughs> Somebody had noticed in the chat that there was a lot of parallelism where one team would do something and another team would do the same thing or very similar play. Here we go again as Arizona <laughs> tries to run it right up the middle to see if they can get 60-plus yards. Again, they go with the three tight end look. They'll swing it out to Moses. He has one man oh. to beat. That's Russell, and he beats him, but Tally Max Scarborough tackles him right at the 30. <laughs> 
And that will most likely be the last play before the two-minute warning. You know, they uh, he didn't get him, but he slowed him down enough for the pursuit to get there. They've run that play. What That was the third or fourth time. You're watching the Simulation Football League on 11 Sports and for the fans. It's getting exciting, folks. Welcome back to Queensland, London. Arizona down by one point, facing a third and two on their own 30, coming out of the two-minute warning. Ashley Jackson is in the shotgun with DJ Moses, sidecar right. She'll throw. The Downing hands who picks up the oh. first down and a lot more, but Jack Russell saves what could have been a very long touchdown as he brings him down at the London 46. That was a great throw, and uh, hands is slippery, and... Avoids the first tackle and picks up, tacks on some extra yardage. According to Benjamin, Ben Warner, one of our statisticians today, along with Mark Chisholm, London, on their last two drives, has compiled 140 total yards of up. Oh, my goodness. Uh, hello, Arizona. Remember, the Scorpions elected to kick to start the ball game so they can play it a little more yeah. conservatively here despite or, being down by one. Or they could be aggressive. But oh, Jackson no. down, she goes, loss of <laughs> seven. She was trying to duck back and. Well, guess who's gonna be aggressive here? Your and, London Knights. And Joe Duncan let a charge of black shirt for a seven yard loss as Jackson will now operate out of the empty backfield. Down the middle, oh! <laughs> Trying to go for the tight end, Tiberius Bovine, but the London defense had other ideas. That sets up a third and 17. Well, the uh, London defense is feeling it right now, feeling their oats. Someone will have to help me out with the uh, traditional London uh, hearty or English hearty meal. Whatever it was, Wheaties or whatever we would have in the U.S., they've had it. Trips to the top, Jackson, out of the gun. Oh! Points one sack, but can't avoid the other. Suddenly, Arizona's gonna have to give the ball back to London, who as you noted, thanks to uh, Ben and Mark and the stats, uh, stats, stats trailer, uh, London's on a roll offensively. This is the last thing they wanna do. Now, Arizona, uh, London's gonna get to play with some house money here at the end of the half. Uh, Dean. Same with that sack, number 56. He was signed just this past week. And Mike Windu on to punt for Arizona. Has plenty of protection. This will be fair caught at the 26 with 12 seconds left. Arizona doing an effective job of uh, bleeding that clock down, wasting time. As they say, uh, only 12 seconds left. Arizona's got what? Maybe one play, quick out, pick up some yardage, and then hail Mary. Keep in mind, in the Who You Got community poll, Arizona was favored almost 82%, only 18.3% of the community picked London. So the four to one advantage in the uh, fan poll. Uh, unexpected here at the half. Trips to the top, and McLean will fire on a field, and it's uh -oh. intercepted. Intercepted by Everson Gamble, who's returning it. it the other way, and he gets tackled at the three. 
So they go deep, but it almost comes back oh, to bite them. Just not a, not a well-thrown ball if he throws that a little deeper into the outs to the sideline. Instead, he short arms it. Looking for Fox Highwind. And Gamble does not look like he's got a bad wheel on that return, Colin. So Looks a- like they will call on the field goal unit right now to take the <laughs> lead. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. They give up too much yardage, uh, too much of a return on that interception. Puts them in field goal range. To end the first half, Cliff Allen is good from 43. Wow. And we have a two-point game. My emotional seesaw is uh, going crazy here, Colin. What a la- what a great last few minutes here. We reached the end of the first half. As Arizona steals the thunder from London to take a 16 to 14 lead going into half. And I tell you, if you're Liam Crowder. You're not going to be very happy with your quarterback. Well, you're not happy with that, but you're obviously happy with the with the game. Um, it turns out to be a costly pick, um, as they are many times. But London seems to have found their footing offensively, um, and you can see here they were handily outplayed, but they're only down by two. There's Cliff Allen's first field goal. Down to the River Thames. They come up with an appropriate. Angus McLean finishes with 101 yards, passing one touchdown, one interception. Cliff Allen made three field goals. Ashley Jackson threw an interception to Jack Russell. DJ Moses, actually Arizona's leading receiver with 57 receiving yards also 64 rushing yards including that one yard TD you see right there on the screen and the man they call the throwing Scotsman to Rhodes right there for the beautiful reception is that an official nickname the throwing Scotsman or is that just kind of something we, we go with because I like alliteration I think the slinging Scotsman Sounds pretty, pretty sexy. Moses there with a big run. But check out Robert Merrill. Does two spins in the hole, breaks a tackle. <laughs> no, breaks two tackles, and then outruns Iverson Gamble. See, Iverson, is, is, he's got something going on right there. I'm going back to keeping an eye on him. Donnie Hens, though. He and his brother James used to play for these nights. Yeah, he's uh, something slight. It's like he's got an extra substance on his jersey, how slippery he was. They couldn't just, couldn't tackle him. And then, of course, Iverson Gamble picks off Angus, yeah. and then that the was, field goal by Allen. That last seven to eight yards gives him a comfortable margin to attempt that field goal, and he's got plenty of leg. For Arizona elected to kick to start this game. So they will get the ball first to start the third, making that mistake by McLean even bigger. Well, if uh, London can't uh, get a turnover on downs here, force a punt um, or, or get just a plain old fashioned turnover, um, that will magnify, like you say, that mistake by McLean right there at the end of the half. He's Rick Northrup. I'm Colin Northrup. Ben. Warner and Mark Chisholm are statisticians today. Cameron Arvine, our commissioner of the SFL and ex- executive producer. Return on the play by Jacob McCall. Ooh. We'll get out past the 20 to the 21. Oh, they're going to give him the 21. I didn't think he even made that. Well, good job, McCall, because you had no protection there. He's gang tackled by half of the uh, coverage unit for the Knights. Knights looking good in their uh, black with uh, gold and uh, orange trimmy stuff. Love that. And Ari- love the scoreboard, too. Go ahead. Sorry, Colin. Arizona. 39 plays. 
They've gained 11 first downs, but that play is an incomplete pass to James Hands. And on third down today, they've been 5 of 8. For London, they've been 1 of 4 and only picked up 4 first downs on 23 plays. They've had 6 drives. As you see the numbers there coming in, Arizona. Solid 54%, that's 12th best. London, 46%, that's 19th. So Arizona's a bit ahead of their average, and London is a bit behind their average. It's DJ Moses will get the carry up the middle, pick up yardage to the 24. That's now 15 carries, 67 yards, Marquise Reed on the tackle. Hey, the chat's pretty robust, and uh, so, someone says, gave me an LA. LMAO, I'm not sure if I'm being laughed at or laughed with there, but Colin, how do you get in the chat? You visit uh, Hang on. after this play as Jacob McCall makes his first reception of the day on this third and seven and picks up the first down. I can handle that duty for you, Colin. Chat with owners, coaches, and players. Chat with owners, coaches, and players in the FTF Next Twitch chat at www.twitch.tv slash FTF Next to meet players. Meet the players you're watching and on screen today. Get involved, witness the passion of the community, and follow along with all the action amongst the most dedicated SFL players. The FTF Next Twitch chat at www.twitch.tv slash FTF Next. DJ Moses trying to go for an explosive run. Gets close to the 50-yard line. Tackle made by Ewing. Thank you very much, Chatters, for the explanation. I do like the slinging Scotsman, but here's some highlights for your Arizona Scorpions. And London's got to be concerned on the defensive side of the ball as uh, Arizona has yet another first down here. Uh, barely into the plus side of the field, Colin. Here's the give to Moses. He picks up one. Get, get some chat shout outs. Oh, Moses is hurt. Uh -oh. Either Moses is down. And the London 48. And Sean Crooked. Oh, no. Looks like pretty innocuous to me. And tried to get up. Well, what's going to happen now? Tell me about the medical unit here for uh, the SFL con. Well, injuries here in the Simulation Football League for a variety of reasons only last the game. So whatever it says, the player will be back on the field next <laughs> week. Corey Chamberlain takes Moses' place at the tailback position. Oh, Jackson oh, oh. almost threw an interception. Well, they give him a magic spoonful of medicine, I believe. And that helps. That really helps bring people back from a lot of different injuries. Third down and nine. Arizona already converted one with a pass to McCall. Earlier this drive. And looks like they're going to have to rely more on the right arm of Miss Jackson. Just going to do a standard rush for the Knights with four down linemen. Oh. The got over the middle. Tiberius Bovine, welcome to the ball game. Young fella as he picks up the first down to the 33. That's a young fella, but he's been in this league 13 watch, years. Watch this. Ashley Jackson recognizes that they drop too far, and she fortunately has two two or three guys in a pattern uh, just over the line of scrimmage. Um, London right. making that too easy for Ashley Jackson there. Bovine, one of the original renegades when the team was based in Oklahoma City, elected to stay with the team. As Zach Turner tackles Chamberlain at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Here's the throw. Catch. One-handed catch behind his back by Donning Hands. And Ashley Jackson is fast approaching 200 yards. She's up to 190. Oh, my gosh, golly. Watch this. As they ran the lob route. And, and that is that is a spinning backwards, catching the ball while your momentum is still spinning you around and gathering that in. 
Just a wonderful play. Remember Arizona's defense started out hot. They had five sacks in that first quarter. Zero sacks since. Oh. oh, you don't say. Two tight ends to the same side. Jackson throws it out to Chamberlain, and he loses a yard back to the 11. Poor, poorly executed by Arizona there, and uh, I didn't see who the player was for the Knights come, but uh, not, not going to pass up the opportunity to jaw anyway like he had something to do with that. Uh, that was just purely a route and a, and a quarterback issue. That was, that was Jeff Gagne. Gagne's got some game. He's got some smack talk game. Nicholas Sala is the fullback. Jackson back to throw to the end zone. Ooh. It dropped. He dropped the ball. It was James Hands. He was in the end zone. Oh, and he but, can't believe it. Oh, my goodness. That would have been a huge score for Arizona. Instead, it's a third down and 11. Uh, here's, here's a philosophical question. You go back to him and uh, tell him to shake it off, or do you go in a different direction here trying to um, put it in the end zone? I think you go to Bovine here. He has only the one catch, but he's such a big target. As Jackson throws to the end zone, it's intercepted! Oh. Brandon Ewing picked that one off, and Jackson now has thrown two interceptions as the ball will come out to the 20. Wow. Let's watch this. He's just sinking back. He kind of guesses that he's um, going to do the out, and he guesses right, and the ball finds himself uh, with the ball. Nicely done. Uh, there's film study right there, I think, knowing tendencies, route tendencies. What do they call it? The route tree? Yep. Oh. Twins to the top, and Arizona jumps off sides. First play, but Nicky Swift catches that pass and rumbles all the way out close to the 40. Wow. And now it's time for Arizona to uh, uh, check themselves at the door and get their head back in the game because uh, they thought they were going to put some more points on the board, and here they find themselves uh, back out on defense. Right over Joey Tropicana's outstretched arms. Tropicana. He's uh, 6'3", 225, and just barely got over his arm there. Uh, before this gets even uh, more exciting, I want to, uh, on this drive for London, well, I'll let this play go here, and I'm going to tell you something about the minor leagues. Twin receivers to the top, Angus McLean. Back to throw, fires deep. Oh, Manikanaka knocks that away. Hey, what I wanted to say was get your player position locked and loaded. Today through our Discord server in the SFL Minor League, SFLM. Now 12 teams, there's more opportunities than ever to be the player you've always wanted to be. Join the Discord community through www.simulationfl.net. The second season of the SFL Minor League starts in October 2020. Contact Deputy Commissioner Andrew Rastelli on Discord for, for more information. Andrew Rastelli will hook you up. Second and 10, McLean back to throw. Fires the rainbow, it's oh, intercepted. No. And this time, Eddie Gaines scoops that out of the air pass intended for Rhodes. I think based on your comments of sacks, Colin, we were all marveling at the protection he has and just makes a mistake. Does Probably doesn't see him sitting back there. Arizona takes over at their own 41. So Ashley Jackson breathes a sigh of relief as her defense gets the ball back for her. No damage done on her interception. Here's to give to Chamberlain up the middle and he'll pick up three yards. They have to deal with the loss of Moses for the rest of the game. Our uh, produ producers down there on getting the pictures from Queensway say he went out with back spasms. Oh. Well, that's good. That I mean, you, you can get over that. That can be okay, but it's not anything worse. Counter play to Chamberlain. He loses a yard. Tackle made by William Davidson. This veteran's been getting it done for a long time at the, that defensive tackle position. You know, sometimes the uh, Rick meter has spasms, so, you know, it happens to everybody, but... Uh, you know, we've been stuck on lean Arizona uh, for a while. And 
and that's where we are. The quick slant over the middle is caught by Jacob McCall for the first down, and with that last throw, Jackson, who is 15 of 24, has crossed. Or has hit 200 yards. Has hit 200 yards. She has had two interceptions, so that's uh, dragging the QBR down to 54.2. I apologize for that, Colin. Maybe you were going to say over 199. What do I know? Jackson to Chamberlain. He's got room. He picks up three yards. And the Knights are doing a much better job defending those swing passes after having been burned about three times in a row. Uh, two times for sure uh, in the opening um, going here, the early going of the game. For DJ Moses, he'll finish today with 17 carries for 83 yards and a touchdown as well as four grabs for 57 yards. Jackson out of the split shot, got throws. Oh. It's another interception. This time it's Jack Russell. His second of the day, his third multi interception game of the season. And oh boy, London could make it real interesting. And uh, you got to, if you're paying attention, you got a good look at why he's such a fabulous player. He's just dropping back into his coverage area. He looks to his right as he's go heading back and sees the receiver. He knows the route, and he runs to the ball uh, before the receiver can get there. Angus McLean going deep down the field, and it's caught by Fox Hoffman. Minikaduk overran it, but Anthony Wilde <laughs> saves what could have been a touchdown as he's tackled at the 15-yard line. Oh, I nearly choked on my fish and chips there. Sorry about that. What, what a nice play. Pretty ball here. Oh, just misplayed by the defender, Colin, as you pointed out. Looks like Manikanaka just overran it. As we take a look at these leaders, you see Kalia's got the yards, the yards per catch, the receptions, and targets, but Iwind has the four receiving touchdowns, top two leading receivers, and what is a very young receiving core for these nights. Robert Merrill... Third carry gets stopped the line scrimmage for no gain. BJ Loveless on the tackle. That'll be second and ten. Now they go trips to the bottom, does London. Merrill is the single back, offset to the left. Angus over the middle. This is caught by Kalia who fights ahead to the eight and set up a third and three. Nice play design as uh, they take the tight end who's in the formation of the right side for the Knights, and he's being shadowed by a linebacker. He drags that linebacker all the way across the formation to the left, and Kalia comes in underneath that and makes the catch. This is prime territory for Merrill. He's had that one explosive run, but it's on a carry, picked up five yards, and set up throw. Iwin picks up the first down, just barely to the five, and it'll be a first down. Wow. Wow. As the uh, the referee signals first down, the hometown crowd is on their feet here. London with a chance to retake the lead. Can you imagine that? Retake the lead. Three wide receivers. Zach is in the slot. Here's the good day. He sweat through hours ahead. For a pickup of two to the three yard line. EJ DQ on the tackle. <laughs> Everybody like me is holding their breath. Seeing if London can complete this drive. Second and goal from the three. Angus McLean. Will turn, get the mirror, who walks yeah. in for the touchdown, his second of the day. Uh, not that many carries, but he's got two TDs to show for it. And look at that. Home crowd electric. And the man who was converted from wide receiver now has two rushing touchdowns. I think he had that number Number. For for all the rest of the games, rushing touchdowns was maybe two. And he has that many in just 
this game alone. <laughs> the extra point. Snap is high, but the kick is good. So with 2.37 to go in the third, London takes a 21 to 16 lead. You're watching the Simulation Football League on 11 Sports in front of fans. Welcome back to this game between the London Knights and Arizona Scorpions. This got a whole lot more interesting as the Knights take the lead 21 to 14 for the second time this game. As Jacob McCall returns it up to the 25. And Arizona's going to have to get on their giddy up. They uh, just realized they're in a dogfight. As we take a look at the Week 7 Highlines, Gabriel Manning returns punts for TDs back-to-back in Tulsa's victory. Uh, Ace Finnick almost led the team to a win after being down 33-14 to and recovered two onside kicks. Louisiana tries to go undefeated at home as they post the Legion. And Baltimore breaks in a new quarterback. Oh! And speaking of quarterbacks, down goes Jackson. Zachary Turner on for the sack. His second of the game, he's now at two and a half. It just spins off his block and fights through. That's a loss of eight, second and 18. And for Baltimore, they're breaking in a quarterback, Jack Wingmore, following the sudden retirement of Mike Dazzo. So that it will be a very interesting game as they take on Houston in the crowd play game in a week. Oh, oh. And there, Jackson throws an interception. This time it's held in by Gagne, the middle linebacker. Oh my goodness. It's stunning, stunning turn of events here in the last quarter. Quarter, uh, yeah, quarter, I guess. Since uh, London sprang to life offensively. And now look at this. The Knights have run one, uh, 10, 20 some, 20 some fewer plays in Arizona. And yet they have a lead. This drive will start with an Iggy Swift handoff up the middle. They'll pick up two. Maybe. Joey Tropicana recording yet another tackle. He's been busy today. You may be able to get the real time stat on the plays, number of plays off the uh, stat sheet here. As we look at Arizona's defense being back on the field unexpectedly for them. Empty shotgun look for Angus McClain. We'll see about their protection package here. Blitz being shown by Arizona. They back out of it, though. They got a free rusher. McClain deep in the end zone. Oh! Oh! <laughs> knocked away by Wyo. Was that knocked away or was it knocked away by, his, uh, by the receiver's own helmet? Check that out if we get another look here. Guess we're not. 50. Oh, here we go. No. Nope. Darn. 58 plays for Arizona, 34 plays for London. Wow. That's quite a differential. Third and eight. Angus McLean in the gun by himself, trips to the top. One man to the bottom. Changes the play. Back to throw. Fires first down catch is made. No, oh, they mark him short at the mark. Wow. I thought he <laughs> got that, it. How is that short? Oh, come on, please. Let's get a replay on this. Where are the guys in the truck? Gonna have to... oh, oh, I thought we were going to see a hanky, but... Something. Come on, people. 
as <laughs> Dunn well, Delaney we'll, will try a field Delaney, goal. Delaney, yeah. Delaney will try a field goal. Maybe a 34 yarder. Snap was wonky, but the kick is right down the middle. The middle. As it's now a 24 to 16 game with 31 seconds left in the third. Wow. And our own Fox Red English Lab is getting anxious as the English team is in front of the right, American right. team. Right. The English Lab is uh, is excited. He's also rowdy today. London was six and a half point underdogs at home. As Jacob McCall returns it up to 31. Not a bad return as things go in the SFL. So Arizona has their work cut out for them. Ashley Jackson's going to have to settle down. You know, I was going to talk about uh, when Arizona had the ball and uh, McLean was throwing, Colin. Um, the slinging Scotsman was much better at getting rid of the ball uh, when the protection was breaking down. He seemed to be more aware of the rush and when it might be uh, turn lethal. Chamberlain gets stopped for no gain, and this Arizona attack has really been hurt by the, by the Moses injury as Cassidy records the TFL. Yep, don't discount that. Don't discount that injury. You are right, Colin. We have a second and 11 situation with three wide receivers, two to the bottom, one to the top. Single back offset to the right. Jackson back to throw as time fires over the middle, complete to Chamberlain. Who, who picks up yardage? And that's the end of the third quarter. London is out in front 24 to 16. You're watching the Simulation Football League on 11 Sports in for the fans. Arizona will start the fourth quarter facing a third and eight. I'm Colin Northrup alongside my colleague, Rick Northrup, my father. As Ashley Jackson goes down for a sack, William Davidson bursting through, and Arizona will be forced to start this fourth and final quarter off of the punt. Mike Windu on for the Scorpion punt. He gets this one off. It's plenty high enough. Fielded by Zach, who turns it up to 36. Well, and Colin, with that punt by Arizona, the Rick meter is weighing in, and it is now leaning London. Leaning London. Might be the first call for London by the Rick meter this season. Um, congratulations, London. Here's hoping you can hang on to it if you are a London fan. Angus McLean in the gun. He's back to throw. Quick pop oh. over the middle. Complete for a first down and a whole lot more. And, and that is Rhodes. The Rhodes Scholar uh, gathers that in. A nifty throw. Watch the traffic here. And McLean's got to uh, thread it through. Just a small window. Nice. Nicely done by your slinging Scotsman. 
I wonder if Dayton's middle name is Cecil. Because you get split backs with three wide. It's Cecil. I'm not following, but anyway, Merrill tries to follow his blockers. No, that was Swift. He oh, Swift. the yeah. line of scrimmage. Swifty goes nowhere. He has five carries for nine yards. He made that one catch down the field for 19 yards when they had the free play. Robin Merrill, four carries for 74 yards and two touchdowns with a long of 66. Benjamin Warner and Mark Chisholm are statisticians. He slipped up the middle again on a fullback dive. As we take a look at the standings, Arizona is right in the middle of that pack of teams, 8 through 11, that are 3 and 3. And take a look in Atlanta. The defending champions are also 3 and 3, but they're below the cut line. So this helps them too if London is able to hang on. Third down and six for the Knights. Angus McLean back to throw, and the Scotsman fires to the sideline complete. For a first down, that is Ben Kalia. Well executed right there. Just a little tippy toe beyond the sticks. Boys and girls, run your routes to gain the first down. Field and situational awareness, so important. And uh, Arizona, sorry, London, needs to continue to step on the gas. Eight point lead isn't uh, likely to not do it. Here's Merrill up the middle. He gets stopped in line of scrimmage for no gain. Combo tackle made by Tropicana and Loveless. And right on cue, the Arizona defense uh, emphasizes that point as they try to uh, hold on here, get the ball back for Ashley Jackson. I'll, I'll, I'll explain my. Your Cecil, Cecil reference after this play because there seems to be some question as to why I brought it up. Angus McLean, though, changes the play at the line of scrimmage as he lines up in the shotgun. He throws out to Dustin Zeck, who makes a five yard gain to the 33, set up a third and five. Yeah, uh, yeah, I want to explain I, it to your trusty broadcast partner. I usually get most of your references, but that one I is, said, is opaque to I me. I said Cecil because I thought. There was a guy named Cecil who founded the country of Rhodesia. <laughs> okay. I, you did, nice. you got to have an education to keep up with Colin. That's for dang sure. Look uh, at this. That cut over the middle caught for the first down to the 11-yard line. That is Vin Kalia again. It's... He's been racking up the yards. And Angus again with another outstanding throw. <laughs> Te technically that ball is not a not a well thrown ball but it is a well thrown pass play a well done pass play <laughs> oh my gosh yeah i i'm still gotta go back and uh chuckle at cecil rhodes deja right. <laughs> colin i thought Maybe you were I talking have... about cecil rhodes the british uh politician <laughs> from 1890 to 1896, I thought. Oh, well, I think he was. Isn't that what they named? Uh, I think uh, Cecil Rhodes, might, Rhodesia might have been named after him. Uh, now that was it. As Iggy Swift picks up yardage to the five to set up a second and four. And everybody goes, hey, what the heck's wrong with Rick? Yeah, I was randomly talking to uh, internal control there. Sorry about that. But, yeah, Cecil Rhodes, British politician, late 1800s. Uh, I'm assuming is responsible for the colony that was named Rhodesia. Second and four. Oh, it's oh, intercepted. No, no. He tried to go McLean in the end zone. McLean gets greedy, Colin. I thought there's no way. Maybe he's trying to throw it away. Let's look at the uh, vertical he gets on this. No, he's just no. trying to high point it no. to his receiver, but Anthony Wild had other ideas, grabs it out of the air. 6.39 left to go in the game. Arizona down 24-16, but they had the ball following an interception. You're watching the Simulation Football League on 11 Sports and for the fans.
Welcome back to Queensway here in London as the Arizona Scorpions following an interception from Anthony Wilde take over in their own 21st and 10. This pass is oh. knocked away and double coverage pass intended for James Hands. Tanner Hendricks knocked it away. Let's take a look at the rest of the SFL calendar. Jacksonville and Atlanta coming up at 4.30 followed by the games at 8 and 8.15. Portland at, Mexi at Mexico City and Fort Worth at St. Louis on our SFL Family Networks. And then Monday, right back here at 11 with Louisiana, Louisiana hosting Vancouver. Followed by the crowd play game of the week, Baltimore at Houston. Jack Russell tackles Chamberlain up the middle there. Don't forget to download Crowdplay, our new partner for 2020, and play the game about the game. Follow the action and answer questions for a chance to win a share of $1,000 prize pool. As the Houston Hyenas take on the Baltimore Vultures. As Jackson oh, he threw it and it was caught with one hand by Donny Hands. Wow. Uh, we've seen a bunch of great one-handed catches and there's another one. Oh my goodness. Double coverage, and he just stuck it out there. And it... well, hey, Ashley Jackson uh, has as equal shares equal billing in that. She puts it in a spot where it can't be uh, picked or tipped. Jackson back to throw. Off oh, balance. Oh, that was nearly intercepted. Danner Hendricks knocked down his old teammate as Telemark Scarborough gets the deflection. Shows you the talent level of Ashley Jackson as she's off balance and basically it looks like she shot puts that ball 20 yards down the field. She might have been channeling her inner Patrick Mahomes there. We've seen that Super Bowl MVP do a lot of crazy things with passes. As Arizona now lines up with three tight ends and two backs. Here's to get to Chamberlain up the middle and he's gets stopped in the line of scrimmage for a loss of one. Well, one thing about this uh, little uh, interception that London threw and then the uh, Arizona possession is uh, a lot of times working off the clock here. And it still is technically you know, one score to tie, I suppose, with a successful two points. Jackson on the run. Oh, Jack Russell almost grabbed another one as James Hans has been targeted 10 times. Only two receptions and then one drop in the end zone. Arizona will be forced to kick. That incompletion stops the clock, which is will ultimately inure to the benefit of Arizona. But in the meantime, they have to endure a London offensive possession here. Clock stopped at 5.08. This punt fielded by Zach. Look, okay, it's up to 27 in exactly eight seconds ran off the clock. He's uh, well covered there. London starts from their own 27. So if you're London, the objective is to possess the ball and uh, long enough to move it down the field and force London to burn off all three of their timeouts, uh, ideally leading to at least a field goal. They go two tight ends. First time we've seen Benji Matson on the field as they go from the gun. This will be a drag route to, I believe that is Rhodes. Cecil, up Cecil Rhodes, the British politician who Colin pulls that right out of the memory bank. Nice job. My memory is like a steel trap. <laughs> Especially around 1800 British politicians, I guess. <laughs> Angus McLean under center. Will we see a carry from either Iggy Swift or Robin Merrill here? And it's Iggy Swift, and he gets yardage to the 34, 35, rather to set up a third and two. Well, the first of uh, what will be several critical plays uh, the rest of the way. Critical here for London to get a first down. Give them a chance to burn another minute or two off the clock at, at a minimum. They're taking their time. They're taking their time running this down. 
We're just moving along. Play action. Oh. McLean. No. Oh, oh, knocked geez. away. I, you, there wasn't anybody really open, and uh, I thought they were just going to hand it off. They tried. Should have handed it off. They tried to run play action to fool him. I think they were looking for high wind, but BJ Loveless just read it right in the middle. Right there, he broke on the ball and swatted it away. Clock stopped to 350. Left in this uh, simple running play, gents. And even if you don't get it, you can still burn more clock. In this case, you didn't get the first down. You did stop the clock. Well, here we go. Combined 12 rushing attempts between the two players. For London today, it's Jacob McCall who turns it up to the 29 and I feel like we've just seen this movie, Rick. It's just, you know, well, just the well, possession to go. Yeah, well, uh, in the, it's not the 20, uh, 27, it's the 29. And here we go. Uh, they get the ball back. It costs them about, what, minute, 25 seconds. Not bad at all. They can still, they still have a good opportunity to tie the game. Jackson. Throws. Oh, Ooh. looking for Bovine, but oh, Tally Max Scarborough Ooh, had boy. other ideas, knocking that away. Well, obviously, you heard me say before, one of the tests of a, uh, you know, do you deserve to win, uh, your quality team, all that, and that is, do you have the, the lead and the ball late in the fourth quarter, you should win the game if you are a quality team uh, and or have a good chance of holding serve. Arizona could not do that. I mean, sorry, London could not do that. Hands it to Arizona. As Jackson, oh, almost oh. for another pick. Jack Russell lurking back there. Two potential picks for London Knights, Colin. And uh, can't gather in either one. New life, although it is third and 10, third and long. Jackson out of the empty shotgun. She has to be careful here. This defense has been swarming. Jackson deep. Overshot everyone, including Donnie Hands. She did have a uh, defender breaking free, running towards her, and um, that may have interrupted her timing or concentration. Another punt for Arizona. Back and forth we go. So the momentum shifts here just in the last few minutes have, uh, and the emotional shifts have been pretty strong. Each team tries to uh, take the initiative. They return up to the 38. And you see for London's upcoming schedule, they have Carolina followed by Houston at home and then they travel to St. Louis for the Fish and Chips versus Ribs rivalry. <laughs> that's part of their next three games. That That's always a classic between those two franchises. Angus McLean under the center. We'll give off to Robin Merrill for carry six, and he picks up one yard. For Arizona, they have Atlanta, the defending champs. Then they travel to Carolina and host Vancouver at home. That's part of their next three games. So the schedule doesn't get any easier from here if you're either one of these ball clubs. Here's second and nine, split backs, three wide receivers. Iggy Swift and Robert Merrill. Here's the give to Iggy Swift, and he only picks up one. Why do they keep giving it to Swift? Hey, no, no disrespect, Mr. Swift, but Robert Merrill's got uh, a couple of great runs and two touchdowns. His average is still 12.5 yards a carry. That's third and eight. They'll most likely run this down to the two-minute warning, and then we'll get our interesting stuff from there. 
see. A lot of times they'll snap it here. And we've reached the two-minute warning. You're watching the Simulation Football League on 11 Sports in front of fans. London out in front. Can they close it out? Find out after this. Ah, there's a two-minute warning here in London, England. The Knights are in the shotgun facing a third and eight. They need a first down to seal their victory. Play action. And oh, it's all geez. going to Dustin Zach. But, Thomas, oh but Parker Thomas had other ideas. Well, nobody can make a first down. Um, and especially troubling for Arizona, Colin. You've got some uh, numbers on, on their production uh, since the injury. Since uh, the injury to DJ Moses... They've gained 22 20, yards. 23 yards on, so, on 27 yards on 22 plays. Here's the punt that'll give Arizona yet another chance. What you're saying is there's a chance. Come on. Jacob McCall returns to 29. They have all three timeouts remaining. So they need 71 yards, stick it in the end zone. They've only produced 27 since the injury to DJ Moses. So they have their work cut out for them. London still has to be vigilant on defense, and they've been able to produce some sacks on Ashley Jackson. Let's see what happens. And the interception is grabbed up by Brandon Ewing. On the very first play from scrimmage. Oh, my. Well, that, that, ladies and gentlemen, may just about do it. London still has all their timeouts, so they can get the ball back. Um, should, should they uh, hold London from getting a first down, Colin? And depending on London play selection. The ball is right at the 50. And they will get through Robert Merrill, who lost two yards, but now the timeouts can be start can start to be burned. Who thought Merrill should get the ball? Geez, they should go with Swift. Why were they going with Swift? <laughs> hey, quit quit slamming me. For Ashley Jackson, that's now five interceptions. Angus McLean's throw three.
Now they give to Iggy Swift. He gains yardage back to the original line of scrimmage. And the second timeout in the parade of timeouts is taken by Arizona. London needs to make a uh, first down of some kind. <laughs> a first down of some kind, any kind. How'd you like to make a first down? The hard way. Three wide receivers, Angus McLean in the gun. He's going to throw first down yardage to Rhodes. That's and it. And Dayton Rhodes, who's been clutch all game. Game gets him up to the 38. Another look at it, Rick. Nice, nice focus and concentration by Rhodes. He's not a Rhodes scholar for nothing, you know. And with that first down, Arizona burns their last time out. Looks like London is going to be your winner. London will uh, is en route to collecting their first win of season 15. They've had a few close calls, most notably to Tulsa in the first week. But lately it's been... They gave up 58 points to Denver. They gave up a bundle of points to the defending champions last week. And it looks like the Knights might be turning a corner at home. And they were off to an inauspicious start, Con, if you remember all the sacks and um, failed uh, offensive plays that they had and suddenly sprang to life in the uh, second quarter. And remember, they gave up five sacks. In that one quarter, no sacks the rest of the game. So big credit to Liam Crowder and this uh, young coaching staff that they put together. They went two and ten last year, and they're one win away from equaling that mark. Well, the pints will be flowing in the pubs tonight, Colin as London will be celebrating their first win in this SFL season. That ought to do it. I'll run out the rest of this clock. It'll be interesting to see how the stat line ends up here at the end of the game, Colin, and I'm wondering who your player of the game might be. Ooh, interesting, interesting choice. There's many options for player of the game, but I think Robert Merrill. Could be. Could be. Not a lot of carries, but a big impact. We've reached the end of the game. Here's your post-game wrap-up. Five turnovers for the Scorpions, Colin. A fairly even time of possession. And uh, total yards. Total yards. Merrill ends up with... 73 yards. How many carries did he get? Look over there. He had seven carries for 73 yards. Did Robert Merrill. Two touchdowns. Plus Four. 10 yards plus yards per carry. Jack Russell with a couple of picks. Brady Ewing with one. Zach Turner and William Davidson both had sacks. There's Fox Highwind, his biggest reception of the day. He had 73 yards, 74 yards on three grabs. Dayton Rhodes had five grabs for 83 yards and a touchdown. Ben Kalia, London's leading receiver, had six grabs for 53 yards. Angus McLean finishes with 251 receiving yards and 18 of 27 passing. That was a potential backbreaker right there. As he was picked off by Anthony Wyo in the end zone, but ultimately <laughs> later in this in that drive, ultimately uh, this happens. Ultimately, though, uh, the Arizona was unable to overcome the loss of DJ Moses. And play the game. Rum roll, please. 
Robert Merrill. Seven it. carries for 73 yards, two touchdowns, 10.4 yards a carry. Congratulations to that young man. Impressive win for the London Knights, Colin. That's all I got to say. They battled and over and uh, held serve. Well, for those of us at the Simulation Football League, our statisticians, Ben Warner and Mark Chisholm. For Rick Northup, I'm Colin Northup, and our executive producer was Cameron Irvine. Good day, everyone. Enjoy the rest of the games coming up.